Hello everyone and welcome to another video for another Python tutorial. Today we'll be learning about if, elf and elif statements, right? So let's consider this, that you have a program and you want the user to input a password, right? So let's create a user flow. What you want is for the user to enter a password and then the program to, in a normal production world, the user here, let's consider this node as the user. This is our server and then this is the front end right so let's just consider this that the user enters a password right we'll call it p and then p is processed through our server s and then it goes to the output f so in this case scenario what do you think what the server would do in order to actually process the password and then give it to the front end so of course we would need to show an error if the password is working and we would need to show if it is not working right and then accordingly we would show an error or we would authenticate the user to the back to the front end of course right so how does this logic exactly work if the password matches from the user's password then only authenticate him right so of course right there we know that it is indeed an if statement so how exactly would you write this kind of an if statement right so let's just review the if statement so as basic as it is it just starts with if and then you have your case scenario here and then you close the case scenario here and then keeping in mind the syntax for the case you have to start with the letter first letter for the case right and then you have to start your code right here print hello print hello word right so let's see what to actually put inside of the case now we know that there is some kind of a case and in just the previous videos we did operators so right we could do if 2 equal equals to 5 then print hello world right but in this case scenario if you know of course 2 doesn't equal to 5 then why would it print hello world it wouldn't really print hello world let's just make it into something more functional right we'd rather want to say both numbers are equal right rather want to say this so in this case scenario considering the 2 is not equal to 5 of course 2 is not equal to 5 there's 2 balls and then there's 5 balls so 2 balls do not equal to 5 balls at all so in this case scenario we'll have to consider also an else statement and say else you can also write it here or if you want you can write it here usually the conventional practices we write it here else print they are not equal right so in this case scenario the best way is to run your mind in a sequential way what you should do first is you should first consider first line output so the first line would return true right and then it would pass on to the next line but in this case it won't usually if you would do print it would just pass on to the next line but in this case it won't it would say false false and then in case of false we go to the else statement and then the else statement would be executed running they are not equal right so now that we know how if statements work let's write the password program for this right let's just start with the password program so the first thing of course we would want to do is take an input right let's just take an input we would want to store the password into a password variable password equal to input and then as we learned if it is a password we would want it to be a string so we could put str and then we could put the prompt for the user to input right so we can ask the user please enter your password perfect and then we need two closing brackets one is for the input one is for the str right so this would if you execute this it would just ask you for your password so what you could do next is you could add an, and first of all of course you need to store the password so let's just store the password correct right correct equals to this is my correct password believe so what you would need to do here is define an if statement right you need to call if password equals to correct as simple as it sounds then print logged in right and then else print error right 
while you won't want to show error because of course if the program errors out you would want to use something called exception statements which we'll learn later on but for this case we'll just use error right so error we would just print out error so let's just review how the program works it first takes an input from the user let's say i inputted w right so if i input w it would go down this this is just assignment it would store this value into the ram and then it would go down it would say if my entered password which is w is equal to correct similarly you need to understand the variable assignment so we assign the variable correct to the <laughs> to the value valid so if we input w it would check valid with w and then it would produce an output so in this case it would check w with valid and it would output print logged in or it would output print error in this case it would print error because of course w doesn't equal to valid but if i were to upload valid to the program it would say logged in now let's get deep into it and um i'll i'll give you a task for the next video and then i expect you to submit the task onto this video so for this task you have to use your own resources to actually find out about elf l f or l whatever you say statements right and then you have to write me a program which is a complete form so it should ask me my name then it should ask me my age then it should ask me my password right and then it should log me in and then afterwards it should check all my values with a predefined array right it should check all values and if i put in the form as my age more than 14 then it should show me a predefined value from the array telling me that oh for 14 we have this type of memberships available right and then it should check my name and then save my name print my name at the end and then same with the password check the password and make sure that the password is working plus there should also be registration into the program it should save my name and then next iteration it should ask to check my name so this is this is indeed a complex program and i'll be expecting you guys to submit it soon this is one of the easiest and most used statements and i'd encourage you to practice it at home